everybody, it's Mrs. Carter and Ruby. Can you say hi? Say hi. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to read you a story. This is Ish by Peter Reynolds. And Peter Reynolds illustrated and wrote the words. And Ruby wants to eat it because that's what Ruby does. Can we share the book with our friends? Yeah. All right, let's share. <gasps> Come on. Ish by Peter Reynolds. Ramon loved to draw. Ruby loved to crawl. So I think Ruby wants to go down for a bit. You can hang out right there, sugar. You ready for the next page? Okay. Anytime, anything, anywhere. So Ramon is drawing everywhere. One day, Ramon was drawing a vase of flowers and his brother, Leon, leaned over his shoulder. Leon burst out laughing. What is that, he asked. Ramon could not even answer. He just crumpled up the drawing and threw it across the room. Ugh, he looks mad, doesn't he? Leon's laughter haunted Ramon. He kept trying to make his drawings look right, but they never did. After many months and many crumpled sheets of paper, Ramon put his pencil down. I'm done. Marisol, his sister, was watching him. What do you want? He snapped. I was watching you draw, she said. Ramon sneered. I'm not drawing. Go away. Marisol ran away, but not before picking up a crumpled sheet of paper. Hey, come back here with that. Ramon raced after Marisol up the hall and into her room. He was about to yell, but fell silent when he saw his sister's walls. He stared at the crumpled gallery. This is one of my favorites, Marisol said, pointing. That was supposed to be a vase of flowers, Ramon said, but it doesn't look like one. Well, it looks vase-ish, she exclaimed. Vase-ish? Ramon looked closer. Then he studied all the drawings on Marisol's wall and began to see them in a whole new way. They do look ish, he said. Hi, Ruby. Ramon felt light and energized, thinking Ishley allowed his ideas to flow freely. He began to draw what he felt, loose lines quickly springing out without worry. Ramon once again drew and drew the world around him, making an Ish drawing felt wonderful. He filled his journals. Tree-ish, house-ish, boat-ish, afternoon-ish, fish-ish, that's a tongue twister, sun-ish. Ramon realized he could draw ish feelings too. Peace-ish, silly-ish, and excited-ish. His ish art inspired ish writing. He wasn't sure if he was writing poems, but he knew they were poem-ish. You want to read the poem? It says, ponder, pond, ponder, dream, yonder, pond, pond, yond, yond, gleam, wander. Ramon. One spring morning, Ramon had a wonderful feeling. It was a feeling that even ish words and ish drawings could not capture. He decided not to capture it. Instead, he simply savored it. Do you know what that word savored means? It means you're really enjoying every moment of it. You're taking it all in. And Ramon lived ishfully ever after. So I have a challenge for you. I'm guessing that was the last page, but we might be surprised. You never know. Nope. Well, it says the end ish. Ha! Ish. Hmm. I like that idea. It's kind of like our happy accidents that we make. 
So I want you to make an ish drawing. I want you to make something that looks kind of like something else ish. So I want you to draw something and when you make a mistake, turn it into an ish. See if you can turn it into something and it could be anything. Your flower could become a tree. Your tree could become a dog. Your dog could walk a human. I don't know. Make it up. Figure it out. See what happens. It's your ish drawing. So ish it up and send me the pictures. Bye, ish.